Hey guys, as you just saw, today's video is about the Sunshine Benga Peacock. That's an Alunacara from Lake Malawi in Africa. And as you can see, this specific kind of fish is absolutely stunning. With a bright blue face, naturally long finnage, and a bright yellow body, this really is one of the gems of Lake Malawi, and is actually readily available at most local fish stores as well as online retailers. So having said that, let's look at this guy more closely and share some further details. So this specific Alunacara maxes out at about 6 inches and it was discovered in 1985. It's found towards the southern part of Lake Malawi but actually has a limited range in the lake. So due to this specific strain not having a lot of collection points within the lake, it can be tough to find a true wild caught strain as these fish have been line bred for years. So if you are in the market and you are wanting to buy a true naturally caught specimen then make sure you buy them off a trustworthy dealer. The fish itself has a somewhat mellower temperament than other peacock cichlids and therefore can be kept with a wider variety of species. Due to the fact that it does max out at about 6 inches though I'd recommend nothing less than a 55 gallon. So it has plenty of growing room and swimming room. This specific fish is classified as an omnivore and it's also semi aggressive meaning that in your home aquarium to keep this sunshine peacock healthy you're going to have to feed them both vegetable matter and food that's high in protein. In the wild toward the southern part of Lake Malawi they're often found in shallower water but can also be seen at deeper water as well between depths of 35 and 52 feet and depending on the individual personality of the fish they can be permanent cave dwellers or often form large schools. Males will then have territories in caves among the rocks and the females will most likely occur in groups. In the wild the majority of the sunshine bengas food comes from sand dwelling invertebrates. They do this with special sensory pores that are located around the jaws which help them locate crustaceans in the sand. They'll then scoop a mouthful sifting out the sand through the gills while retaining the food in the mouth. And we've actually seen this guy do that once or twice in this video which is pretty cool as it's kind of like seeing a piece of their natural behavior anyway guys that's it that wraps up the sunshine peacock cichlid spotlight video i hope you've enjoyed it and if you have feel free to comment what kind of video you might want to see next personally i'm probably going to do it on my blue neon breeder male as he's looking so nice right now Additionally, we've also got a new tank setup coming, so stay tuned and make sure you join us for next week's video. Thanks.